claims that a six-year-old boy ran the Flying Pig Marathon. Many are asking why the Flying Pig would allow this child to run the race in the first place. Reporter Taylor Nimmo is looking into this to get some answers. On the Flying Pig's website, it states that marathon participants must be 18 years of age on race day. So when a post started circulating on social media of a six-year-old running the May 1st marathon, people started asking questions. A family of eight completed the full Flying Pig Marathon together in eight hours and 35 minutes, according to a father's social media post. In a social media post, the father said his six-year-old son made it to mile 20 after seven hours. He said he was struggling physically, crying, and kept wanting to sit down. I spoke to pediatrician Dr. Christopher Bowlings about what level of exercise is safe for young children. There are certain limitations on certain activities because they can affect growth. Um, they're a little bit higher risk for certain types of injuries. Um, so there are certain activities that we always want to want to limit. He says weightlifting and resistance training are some of the activities he recommends limiting for kids under 13. And while running is typically OK for young children. A, a marathon certainly sounds like, you know, a, a lot to do for a six year old and not something that we usually recommend. Other kids in the family ran the race in previous years, but unofficially. But the father said the director of the race, Irish Bush, helped them all officially register this year. He says she told them not to worry about a doctor's visit because they seemed prepared. A spokesperson with the Flying Pig declined to talk with me on camera or answer any questions, but provided this statement saying, quote, Flying Pig Marathon officials have known about the Crawford family for years and their participation in the full marathon. In talking with the family before this year's race, it was clear they would participate whether or not they were officially registered. For the safety of their family, we felt it was important that they were officially registered so they would receive on-course support as needed. I've also reached out to the family but have not yet heard back. Taylor Nemo, WCPO 9 News.